tonight, Boyd Yardy, Gordon, and Rosie Vitoron touched their each other's and about and cousin they looked at each other's and Rosie gave Boyd something. One dark evening, Boyd Yardy, Gordon, and Rosie Vitoron they are the fixed time shed they were touched their each other's. Well, it was good to see you back there, Boyd, said Gordon. Thanks, Gordon, said Boyd. I'm very happy I'm back on surface, and also, don't miss the other one very well, but for me. Not really, said Rosie. We also miss you, said Victoria. Then go and know of something and tell Brick. Uh, Brick? There's something I want to tell you about. Okay, to speak it up there, Gordon. Uh, even my last thing, said Gordon. How could you get to COVID-19 and seems to that time I know you just a few months ago, said Gordon. Rosie and Fitton also know about how to get the COVID-19. <sighs> well, said Blake, I'll tell you about this. Well, it seems this happened just only a few days ago and she goes to the hospital to see the doctor. Yeah, so what happened, said Gordon? Well, at that time the doctor said I got overweight and seemed that time I felt very, very short. And that made me come pull the express. And now I this few days I left it alone, you remember that time? When I doesn't go to the hospital. And seemed like I go after of the hospital, I now feel any better than on the usual. So do you got any trouble then? Said Rosie. Um, do you sure you can do it? Said Victoria. Don't mind me, girl, said Boyd. I'm not feeling better now. If for some other odd reason, I got in trouble and you guys will help up on my express, right? Gordon and Rosie Fitton, they burst out laughing. Meanwhile, Cronson and Annabelle, they're now the nephew. You However, they were told they each others. So, do you hear about the situation about that Annabelle already? said Cronson. Yeah, I heard of the situation with Trosh Bears, said Annabelle. Did break you feel any better now? Well, the first time I go to see him that time, said Cronson, and he felt very weak and very... Uh, how to say it? I can't tell. He just only felt very sick and weak. And that time, the warmer made him feel better, but nothing worked. And since that time, where are these team, his teammate and his old shipmate, teammate, and also come to see him and see what was the matter, and got very, they felt very sorry at that time. Well, I think we got nothing this reason. I think so, said Crossan. They two still very worried about for boy, what's happened to Nyx. Three hours ago, Boy used to walk back to the shed. He was very tired. He pulled a lot of job today. I think I do a lot of job. I need to go back to shed to the night rest. Before he went back to shed for a moment, just then Rosie arrived up. Hey, Bricky, do you feel tired? She said. Uh, yeah, I feel so be tired, said Boyd. Why you ask that? Well, actually, said Rosie. Do you want to come in to do some dinner? Boyd smiled at her girlfriend. Okay, then, Rosie. I guess I'm only with you the first time. Rosie smiled at her boyfriend. And he can do it. Soon for Yardi and Rosie have dinner tonight. Seems a lovely day, Ricky. She said. Yup, said Boyd. There are lots of things I can do, so I'm seeing now that's the reason. Well, there are lots of things we can do, said Boyd. Yup, indeed. The two friends still talking like, like brutally idiots, and they doesn't hear someone say something. Rosie, what are you doing here? Rosie and jumped out what they saw. There, on the other side of the table, was Gloucester was eating dinner. Um, Rick, Rosie, what are you doing here? You should be with me sleeping for this night. Well, actually, Rosie with me want to eat dinner for here, so we doesn't know you're here. Yeah, me too, said Rosie. Well, you guys got like an idiot, I should say, said Gloss. Ha ha, we funny gloss said Boyd, and the two friends with Gloucester, they talk to each other and, and stay together.